What's the, I'm trying to think back to my career and just Rasmus Anderson, Mackenzie Weger, Backlund, Coleman. What's the mindset now? Like you're sitting here, like Kadri's notorious for not working out. What is he going to be like? What's his mindset right now watching this? Markstrom just left. So this is a we're effed. Like they From probably the team saw perspective, the right. It, it's Anderson. Because, like, if you want to no, move, no, no, like, I'm just saying for the minds, yeah. all these guys and their mindsets for the summer, as far as <sighs> okay, because you play and you play and it's a business and you play because you love the game. But you play because you want to effing win. Mm -hmm. And both Uyghur and Coleman have been kind of, they've been on record or whatever you want to call it. They've been interviewed and have talked about it. It's like, yeah, this kind of, this sucks. And for Not Coleman, what? it's like, you got, you got, you're getting paid. You're getting very, fairly compensated for what you're doing, but you did Everyone sign is. here. You pick, you pick Calgary and you came here. I'm guessing you didn't think you'd be in the summer of 24 looking at the team and the roster the way it is. And for Mackenzie Weger, you signed the long-term contract. You too are going to make a lot of money. You're very well compensated, but you probably, it would absolutely it would suck as you watch all these guys grab their bag and head out the door and no studs come in. Mm -hmm. There's no, oh, this guy, this he's good. He's a franchise player. This guy, maybe not there yet. A couple years, three years down the road, this guy's a stud. There's none of that either. So no. you're selling leadership. That's all you're selling. Because if you've got ter term, like they just can't move you. Rasmus Anderson's a totally different situation entirely because he can force teams' hand. He can get out and they can get a haul for him. So it can be worth the flames while to trade him. He's a free agent after in two years. So he'll be 30 on his next deal. It's the type of guy you'd want to have two years ago say, Yeah, we're going to lock him up, keep him around. But if in two years you're last in the NHL and this guy's 30 and wants market rate for a defenseman, I don't see a fit there. And why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he want wouldn't market rate? Right? He's yeah. going to want market rate for sure. Yeah. And so, and he's he's making so much less money than he's worth. What is it, four and a half or something hilarious? Like teams would take him right now, and that that that's a ticket that's much more valuable than the Markstrom one because he's twenty seven. He's on an under market deal, and he doesn't have this crazy trade protection that Markstrom had. He's got a six team no trade, so that's a twenty three team. We can do it or a 25 team, we can do it, right? Like, that's a huge chip that they hold. They don't have to play it anytime soon. They don't have the depth to just have a decor with him gone right now. Yeah. But it's it's a card that Connie can play, and I'd expect him to play the next year and a half. And he feels like a guy to me, and I still am a fan, but I he feels like he's been a little up and down. It feels like an emotional guy to me. He's better when the team's good, right? When the, yeah, when he, he when the games matter more, he, he's invested more. I think these are my... Say. That's where the whole exactly, point of yeah. it was, was like, what are these guys' motivations and during the off season? And it's not, I'm not even belittling. It's, it's just hard going into a season, knowing you're like, mm -hmm. Oh God, like we're going to get our heads bashed in. We're, this is going to be 82 of let's try to hang on and not get. Yeah. And so right? last like, year you had two of those guys have excellent years. Like you could argue career years in, in Uyghur and Kadri. Now, they would have come in with the expectation we're still going to be good. Um, they were in a playoff and, hunt till yeah, February. until Feb. The guy that didn't deal well with it all was Rasmus. I, I think he had one of his worst years in a while. And I, I, it could be anyone this summer could say I'm dejected, I'm not into it, but I would worry more about Rasmus than the other two if, you, if you're catching what I'm putting down here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, I do. I, uh, I see it the same way. Four and a half. It's a deal. And this is another one of those yeah. things, too. I we can be negative and have our here's what I I, I don't think the Flames, I think they'll fl not flirt for a playoff spot. I think their playoff team maybe this is the first time in a while where really the roster construction, I think as we sit here, like this is not a playoff team. No, this is not close five. to being a playoff team. There's no, are they better this year than last year or what? It's long gone. Feels long are, gone. Is Anderson the piece that they can move to get what we've discussed? I think if there's one thing left to, to move, it's probably that guy. And, what, so, and, and, and I know we can, we continue to stipulate, well, we can't 
we we don't want to be that bad and wolf uh, and the d's already weak but if i'm just thinking like you're living sitting in toronto going god damn it i need a yeah. defenseman How about one that's... anderson at four and a half is heaven it's heaven and earth on a platter for true living it's anything right like is that not exactly what there's probably a, would be a number of teams that would love to have. That's my point. Well, yeah, I'm just using yeah. tree as a, but what are you getting in return? That's where you get the bidding war, and that's yes, where you win. But, it and and, yeah. and, so. and I get that you can push it out. Do it now. I'm just working this out in my head. It's the same scenario as Markstrom. What the f upside is there to letting Anderson have, if it's possible? I'm not saying he does. But if it is possible that he's got a shitty attitude about it, not playing as well, and potentially getting hurt, he's healthy. He's healthy just, right now. Yeah, if you get the deal you like, I, I think you absolutely should do it. It's just you that should you got be shopping years, him right? right now. Is my what I'm trying to get at. The His more I think out there, about man. it, yeah. and, and and take that money, you got all that cap space. You talk about it. You can sign defensemen that can play decently defense or decent. Well, how did I say it, dude? De defense and decently, de yeah, yeah. Defense yeah. decently, nailed it. And, and 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 just get a. What do you need to hang on to Anderson for? I think you trade him right now. Now my whole opinion's changed, and it was right in my own head. Look at that! You talked yourself into it. I would do it, <laughs> and because there's no, I don't know what the upside on keeping him around is, and he's such a. And maybe again, we're homers and we're overvaluing what we have. But I just look at it, and Toronto always pops in my head. They need a defenseman. You go put him Rasmus in Anderson. Rasmus Anderson is a 23 minute defenseman, loves to compete, and makes four and a half and eat half of it for him. If that helps, like, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's especially the contract that makes him very attractive. Because uh, he, he's a very solid player. Okay, on our team, he's a three. Okay, we could use him as a two. Whatever it is, like, sure. Yeah. But at four and a half, <laughs> you know, like Nikita Zadorov is going to make a lot more money than him this year. That's insane. Like, Nikita Zadorov can't do the top pair thing, right? Like, th this is this is a guy that can go to contenders and you you who, who can't squeeze in a four and a half million dollar two three. That's what he is. That's yeah, exactly. And you love having those types of guys around that do compete and want to win and playing in games got, that matter. You've got your examples already. Because I think maybe Mackenzie Weger is movable. I don't know. But I'm just saying you have – Backlund is not going anywhere. I think Cadre is a tough move. I think yeah. Huberto is a Jeez. tough move. I think awesome. Coleman's tough. Like do you, you have enough veteran guys to set that standard already. Right, um, he was the one who struggled with it last year. You, you have to, be, yeah, you have to be professional. If you play hard and set a standard of of what's acceptable for the younger guys coming through, you don't need fifteen of them. Like Rasmus Anderson doesn't need; the, it's just another piece. I don't know. I'm, I didn't even think about him until you said his name today, Pinder. But the more I do, I'd be like, get him the hell out of here. Hey, because yeah, you you're, you're married Jersey, to some that here. He's pick? not that. Yeah. Yeah. A six team, no trade. And you're right. Uh, we might be out to lunch again, right? M maybe your team, oh, we do a second round pick, <laughs> second round pick. And then you're back in that. Well, we'll just keep them and play them. I would, we're not going to trade them now for that, but, but you're right. It would feel like, and I think we're like, take all the flame honk out of it. I think it, the, 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 yes, I agree with everything that Pinder said there. And that's very rare. I think you could play the contract is, is a good one. You should be able to fit that in. If you're a team, regardless of where you are on your competitive you know, arc. And he is the type of guy you want to play big minutes, penalty kill has, you know, is he a power play guy? Probably not. Second if you're a really good team, he wasn't, yeah. you know, that's debatable. We debated second that unit, time. maybe though, but you love, yeah, he would 50 point season a couple of years ago, plays it hard, plays a lot. I don't think we're off on him. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more of our content right here on the Flames Nation YouTube page. We had a bunch of great long form interviews. You can check out some videos we've done as well outside of the studio. And of course, if you want more writing or merchandise stuff, flamesnation.ca or nationgear.ca. Appreciate you watching.